Jared Lintner making his second appearance in a championship round on the Bass Pro Tour. Saw him down in Kissimmee where he had a great chance to win. No surprise he's off to a good start. He has one scoreable bass, Marty, but it's a pretty solid one at four pounds and six ounces. It is. In, in, in North Carolina, we call them bull rushes. In California, they call them tulies. He's, he's in a comfortable place right there. He knows how to fish this kind of lake. Jacob Wheeler's had a great week down here on this venue. He led for most of the knockout round on Saturday before Alton Jones overtook him. One guy that has to be watched right here, JT Jacob Wheeler. He's comfortable and he's confident right now. You know, he really is, and he's just been doing great this week, though, in that vibrating jig, and it looks like he's still on him today, too. Ock Defoe may be the hottest guy in the competition, Marty, coming off a classic championship. He has maybe been the most consistent guy this week. He's just caught him in every single period, seemingly. I believe big time in momentum in this sport, and there's no one that's got more momentum coming into this event than Ock Defoe. Can it be a classic win and then back it up with a Bass Pro Tour win? I do not put it out of reach for him. Takahiro, he won up in Charlotte. He won a classic back in 2004. So Takahiro has a win in the Carolinas. It is his second appearance in a championship round on the Bass Pro Tour as well. What are his chances, JT? Oh, his chances are great. You know, we also, we see him throwing a vibrating jig as well. And that one really short lined him right at the boat. Talks a veteran. He didn't let it get away from him, and uh, he's got the fish on the score tracker. Three pounds, 10 ounces for Tock right there. Alton Jones loves the pre spawn time of the year. He was super excited about coming into this event, and he showed it in the knockout round. He won it 49 pounds and one ounce, including 26 pounds, 12 ounces in the third period to overtake Wheeler yesterday. Looks like some momentum carrying through, Mark. This guy right here, I was curious to see how he's going to attack this lake. Alton loves to throw what he calls a yum dinger, which is a stick worm. This lake is set up perfect for that. He should have a great day today and just carry on the momentum that he built throughout the week. Alton, Perosnik, and Edwin Evers have each posted five scorable bass already in the first period. Jeff Sprague, he and Evers are the two who have made the championship round in all three Bass Pro Tour events. This guy's a bulldog, JT. He is, and he's really got momentum on his side. You know, all three, as you said, he's, he's made the championship round, and here he's catching a really good one now. He might be somebody we need to watch today as well. Jeff Sprague so far has posted 11 pounds and one ounce, three scoreable bass, including a four pound 15 ouncer. He said, I cannot let Edwin win back to back, and he's going to do everything he can to keep it from happening today. Well, if you're going to pick a fight, you might as well pick it with King Kong, and that's what he's done right here. You know, Sprague, I said it at Conroe, guys. I'm not so sure we're not watching a superstar in the making here. Mark Daniels Jr., his run at the end of the knockout round was fantastic. Just to get to Championship Sunday, MDJ is in fourth right now, 11 pounds, three ounces, and has posted a four pound, six ouncer for his highlight, JT. Yeah, you know, he's really been, been doing well this year, and, uh, you know, we're seeing him picking right up on a lake that, that he hasn't fished before. He's picked right up, sitting in fourth place. He's caught four already for 11 pounds and three ounces. MDJ in the knockout round went for 16 pounds, 10 ounces in the third period to roar from behind. He went from 29th to 9th in that one period to close out yesterday. So he has momentum coming into Championship Sunday, although we have changed venues. Yeah, he has really been putting on a show this morning with that vibrating jig, and I'm sure he's going to keep that going all day. Now perhaps the favorite, Jacob Porosnik. Why do you make him a favorite, JT? Why does he have such a good chance, other than the familiarity with this body of water? Well, the, obviously the familiarity is a big thing, but Jacob is a great sight fisherman. He seems to think that the fish are gonna be spawning here. We don't have a great day for that with the overcast and the wind, but the thing about it is Jacob knows the pockets that they're gonna be spawning in, and even if he can't see them, he still knows what they spawn around in the areas that they do, and he's going to be he's going to be a voice to be reckoned with all day today. And Edwin Evers, a runner-up at Kissimmee, champion on Conroe. No surprise that E squared is up in first place. 18 pounds, four ounces. What makes him fit for this venue other than he's just flat one of the best anglers on the planet, Marty? You just said it right there. <laughs> you talk about momentum, roll, rhythm. 
whatever adjective we want to use, he's got it right now. I've said many years ago, I don't know if we have an angler on tour that can surpass the greatness that Kevin has. I might be taking those words back to you pretty soon with Edwin Evers. Edwin Evers, 18 pounds, four ounces, five scorable bass, including a four pound 15 ouncer. He is on top of score tracker through period one.